to the EcoCycle Zero Waste video series. Last week, we talked about where our stuff comes from and how our production systems turn natural resources into products. This week, our topic is why recycle? Last week, we focused on why it's important to reduce as a first step. And this week, we're talking about why recycling is important if you can't reduce or avoid a product. Here's the deal. We have one planet, but if everyone consumed resources like we do in the United States, we would need five planets worth of resources to keep up. Clearly, that math does not add up. Our consumption is not sustainable. Once we extract natural resources to make them into products, we need to maintain the value of the resources that went into making those products so we can get more in line with the limits of our one planet. That's why we need to keep those resources in the production system as long as possible by recycling as much as we can. Like we learned last week, we already spent tons of time and energy and money extracting and refining those natural resources into products. So it only makes sense to use and reuse them over and over rather than putting them in the landfill and starting the whole process over again. Our first reason for why recycling makes sense is that it saves a lot of energy. By adopting zero waste strategies, including recycling, we could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by more than 400 million metric tons of CO2 per year, the equivalent of taking more than 20% of US coal-fired power plants off the grid. Manufacturing products from recycled materials saves 30 to 90% of the energy needed to manufacture those products from natural resources, and it doesn't require additional extraction of trees, fossil fuels, or metal ores. Like we talked about in the last video, making an aluminum can out of recycled aluminum saves 95% of the energy required to make the same amount of aluminum from its virgin source. By recycling, we can also reduce demands on new natural resources. Recycling extends the lifespan of materials, reducing pressure on finite natural resources. For example, aluminum cans and glass bottles can be recycled indefinitely. When we recycle these materials, it reduces the need to extract more bauxite or silica from the earth. Once we have those materials, we have them. No need to dig into the earth for more bauxite or silica as long as we quit landfilling the valuable glass and aluminum we've already invested in. Here's another benefit of recycling. Manufacturing from recycled materials saves water. For instance, producing paper from virgin pulp, from trees, creates the largest industrial demand for water per ton of product in the US. Recycling one ton of paper saves 7,000 gallons of water. When we recycle, we also stop needlessly burying natural resources and destroying their value for the next generations who will need them. We currently bury or burn more than two thirds of our waste every day in the US, destroying the value of these materials. Colorado throws away nearly $265 million worth of recyclable material each year, such as aluminum, cardboard, paper, glass, and plastic. Future generations will need these resources if they are to thrive on this planet, so we need to keep resources in the cycle for those yet to come. By recycling, we also create more local green jobs. Recycling creates an average of 10 times more jobs than landfilling per ton. In the US, we could create 1.1 million new jobs by recycling 75% of our discards. There are currently 86,000 jobs in reuse, recycling, and remanufacturing in Colorado alone, but there could be so many more. Here are some stats on the savings we get from recycling each individual material. With the energy it takes to make just one new aluminum can from bauxite ore, you can make 20 recycled aluminum cans. Recycling glass saves 74% of the energy it takes to make glass from raw materials. Paper made from recycled content saves resources and reduces the paper industry's impact on the planet. Using 100% post-consumer recycled copy paper instead of 100% virgin fiber paper saves 100% of the trees, 31% of the energy, 53% of the water, and produces 39% less solid waste. One ton of recycled plastic saves 5,774 kilowatt hours of energy, 16.3 barrels of oil, 98 million BTUs of energy, and 30 cubic yards of landfill space. That's a lot of savings. Overall, a combined total of 85 to 90% of what we throw in the trash could have been reused, recycled, or composted. But as a nation, we're only reusing, recycling, or composting 35%. If you're concerned about the climate crisis, know that you're engaging in one of the best local actions you can take by doing your best to recycle and practice zero waste. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll talk next week.